is Margot Muir. I originally come from Cape Town and I was a lecturer at Nelson Mandela University for 10 years. And my focus then was obviously on the students and their work. And when I retired in 2019, there was an opportunity in a space to suddenly start to do my own work again. And um, I did a fabulous, truly fabulous workshop with um, Chris Giglio in New York called The Grammar of Photography. And he taught me to see in a very clear way. And so since then I've been doing sort of documentary work, more serious fine art work. And this series is, a, is one of the series that has come from that. I had the incredible honour today of um, opening this experience for you all and also ushering you into my own experience of how I've communed, reflected and experienced this moment with Margot. And like I feel like I was brought out from the background into the foreground, it's been a pleasure actually to watch everybody in this exhibition see themselves as a titled work of art telling friends about what was happening in this particular space, telling people that this is who is in the background and this is me in the foreground. It was special watching all of you see yourselves and being brought into the foreground. Thank you, Mam Margo. As I said, the idea of maturing or coming into a journey of maturing into my own body, maturing into my soul, maturing into my spirit has been for me a journey into returning to myself and as women, our homes represent the place where we go to forget ourselves, where we become porous beings, whose edges fade into, fade into the environment and to-do lists and things we have to do at school, like pyjama days and cookie making days and all the other things that school moms have to do. Yet here we are blessed with the opportunity to see how our physical changes on our bodies intersect with cognitive changes and agility changes, but these make way for a spiritual attunement, a perceptual depth, and immense capacity for nuance and complexity. Many of you here have birthed people, dreams, destinies, works of art, perspectives, liberation movements, spiritual awakenings, and also yummy confectionery. <laughs> you have been midwives of life, vigor, and today, like I said, your name is a work of art. Part of the intention of this series is to critique something of what capitalism and advertising do to us. So advertising is, is very persuasive and focuses on the young. And of course the advertising industry is largely peopled by the young. And they can't for one moment really understand the breadth and the complexity and the excitement of the stretch of life. And so um, I did this series really focusing on maturity, but uh, in contrast to youth, but really questioning too what, com you know, what maturity means. Um, who knows what maturity is? And perhaps it's something we should need, the word we need to critique as well. And I think what the ad agency does is either focus on you as young or puts you on a beach when you're retired. And there's this breadth of time in between where there's extraordinary people. Um, there are perhaps the, the moments of, of um, exploring the complexity of life, children, not children, you know, marriage, all of those things. Which, which I think bring a breadth um, to people's existence. And I have a radical belief in the individual. And so these images really celebrate the individual of all of these women, their, their individuality um, and their charisma in their, own, in their own space. To Margot, who has brought maturity into light and wisdom out of the margins, we say well done for reminding us that sagacity is a throne and self-mastery is the alchemy we owe to our world. We are all proud of you and we only wish you more. Well.